Well, welcome back to Channel Run. Today I'm in my studio working on the heating system, and this is an old MSHA furnace. It's a lot like the Miller furnaces. It's just got some subtle differences. And when we had lost the power a couple of days ago, this was up to temperature when the power went out. And when that happens, the thermal switch kicks out, so it will not call for heat once the power comes back on. Uh, so if you think it's your thermostat or the batteries or whatnot, uh, you hit the reset and nothing's happening, you'll find that that's the problem. It's just the thermal switch is cut out. So all you need to do, these are not like the Millers, you, you're just going to have to open it up, pull the top off, lift it up, and set it off to the side. Now if you want to test that theory uh, as it being uh, the thermal switch, is you can actually bypass the uh, wires for the thermostat, and it'll kick in, just like that. But it will not come on uh, any other way. And the reason for that is the switch right here, this thermal switch, all you need to do is push that, reset it, and then you're back up and going. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and reset and that. And it's that switch right there. When you push on that, listen, you'll hear the click. All right? And then the furnace kicks on. All right? That's all there is to it. It's that simple. And then all you need to do then is go ahead and put your cover back on, and you're back up and running. Uh, the first time that it happened to me a couple of years ago, I went all through this and I just bypassed the um, thermostat and I realized that there was something in line. I traced the wires back and realized that the thermostat goes through that thermo, uh, thermo switch. So, well, I hope this helps you with your MSHA uh, furnace and uh, stay tuned for the next one.